Thomas asks, you've shared the research on Twitter recently from the team who proved that blood plasma of younger rats injected into older rats made older rats genetically younger but also cleaned up senescent cells. What's your gut feel on what causes that? Do you think that blood, young blood plasma can reset Yamanaka factors as you described them in your book? Now, obviously, I know what a Yamanaka factor is, but for anyone out there who doesn't, do you want to give us some background and, and address that broader question Thomas is asking? Yeah. Well, Thomas, I don't know if you're a scientist, but that, those are the kind of questions we ask in, in my lab. So the Yamanaka factors are the genes that we use to reprogram the eye, those three genes, OS and K. Um, it would make perfect sense that young blood is resetting the biological clock and turning on those Yamanaka genes the same way we're doing. And we've actually designed experiments to test if that's true. Uh, it would make perfect sense that young blood is resetting the age of that mouse. What was it? 54% on average. Because um, right now we don't know of any other way to reset the body. Um, senescent cells, getting rid of them, um, that's really interesting. It means that the body can clear out senescent cells. We know that when we're young, we can clear them out. We have immune cells that detect and kill them. But as we get older, they, they become immune to the immune system. Um, and so maybe this young blood says, okay, wake up again, go kill those senescent cells, those zombie cells. Um, so what what that experiment, the reason I tweeted about it is that if it's true, and actually Steve Horvath was the one that did the clock, so I believe him, he's the guy that invented the clock. I called him up and I said, Steve, are you kidding me? You just took off the half the age of the mouse. Is that true? And he said, yeah, it's kind of hard to believe. And I said, surely they just mixed up the rats. And he said, no, no, no. Really, we can tell from the DNA that they didn't mix up the rats. But that's stunning if you can take the biological age of a rat back 50%. It means that there are factors that you could one day inject into a person and possibly have the same effect. Now, I'm not condoning going to bleed your uh, younger relatives and have a transfusion or anything. That, I think, is, is kind of risky. And, in fact, in the U.S., that's been outlawed because we don't know enough of the side effects of that. But I do believe it's a proof, it is some proof that at least in rats, you can re reset the age of an entire animal. How do we, you know, stop aging? And I know in some cases we can reverse aging. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Uh, 10 years ago, if I'd said we can reverse aging, people would have said that's impossible and thrown me out of the lecture theater. Uh, <laughs> but now it's okay. Now, now that we've shown, and of course, some of my colleagues have done this too, it's not just me. We've shown that, first of all, there's, there's a clock in our bodies that you can read. I could take your blood today and go back to my lab and measure little chemical changes called methyls on the DNA. And I could say, well, you're actually 36. You, pro you, you look really young, actually. So you probably are younger than most people your own age. Um, or you might be older, heaven forbid. Um, but, you know, half the people will be above, half will be below. And what that's telling us is that you're losing information. Now, some of us in the lab have figured out ways to uh, scrub those chemicals off, like you would brush your teeth and get the plaque off. And then the, the DNA gets red like it was young again. And now cells work like they used to. Anyway, what we did was we, we took mice. Mice are easier to work with than humans, of course. So we took old mice and uh, they went blind because they were old. Or we could induce in their eyes the disease glaucoma which you'll know uh, is pressure in the eye that disrupts the retina. And in both those cases, we could rejuvenate the eyeball and get the retina at the back of the eye to work again. And those old mice could see again, like they were young. And we measured the age of the eye, the nerves at the eye, and they literally were younger based on this clock that I was describing to you. So what does that mean? It means for the first time, we can apparently safely reboot the system and get very complex tissues and organs to work again like they did when we were teenagers wow wow now have that's been done in any humans at any capacity uh very little uh so it'll be in probably another two years before that technology that we used which is a gene therapy it requires an injection in the eye uh that'll be in humans in two years if all goes well so we've we've raised the money the capital to do that but there's a lot of safety studies before you go into a person with a gene therapy. Although I will, I will tell you that we're not using anything totally new. Uh, there are, vac not vaccines, but gene therapies in the eye already. 
to correct genetic defects. So it's, it's not a science fiction as you might think. Um, has it been done in people? Well, there's been one study where people were treated with a cocktail of metformin, the diabetes drug, and uh, growth hormone, and uh, what was the third? Oh, DAA, which some of our listeners here today may recognize as hormone that goes down with age. And they found by measuring the clock. DAA or it was DHEA? DHEA. Got okay, got it. Okay. I'm familiar with that. Yeah. And they could get the clock to go back by a couple of years, which, you know, is on the borderline of, yeah, show me, show me again. I want better evidence. And there were only nine people. So I would say it's early days. It's, it's like the Wright brothers and maybe they, they've skipped over a sand dune. But show me you can fly for an hour and I don't believe you. That's where we're at. So everything you've done.